Welcome back y'all, it's your boy Sam, Flex Fever Fishing. Today we're trying something a little different. Um, I've been on a little freshwater kick lately. I know, I've, I've been wanting to catch a really big bass. And today we're gonna try. I've been catching small ones, pounders, two pound bass, nothing major, nothing really to brag about, but today we are out here at Cecil Webb Wildlife Management you guys look at that gorgeous lake look at that looks good looks real nice we'll see I'm after some bass some maybe probably nice gar but let's see what happens I've never fished this before I was told about this spot I mean I've heard about it a lot but I've been hearing about it more and more recently so we'll see what happens I'll get back to you on the water for you guys so there are big fish in here um, I had two really nice ones about four or five pounders real fat come up and follow it but they're not engaging I tossed everything from bandito bug to uh, crankbait to anything hard plastic soft plastic they're not hitting it they're getting real weary of it so see if we can't get them on live bait so it's a grind but we're gonna get them all right it is 12.35, 12.40. Nothing. Nothing yet. Nothing on artificials. Seems like these fish out here get targeted a lot. So they're very lockjaw when it comes to arties. So we were finally able to get about a dozen small little bluegills. And we'll see if... See if they'll hit these guys. These little candy-sized bluegill. All right, we got our little candy bar. Just gonna put it, just like you would a pinfish. He's not looking too healthy, but let's see. There's a big bass. Looked at it. I think he just picked it up. Yep. Look at that stud. Jeez. on the rocks before she comes off. Nice. Whew. Nice. That tiny little inch and a half bluegill did the job. I, I knew it. These fish are targeted heavily. Looks like she was caught before right here. But yeah, she's nice. Gorgeous fish. Let's see how much she weighs. Three point nine nine, four pounds. Four pounder. She's beautiful. All right, so I didn't want to keep her out of the water too long, so I'm gonna release her. Make sure she's good to go. Get this big girl. 
swim off healthy. See if we can get another one. Alright, I'm gonna put one of the about three, three and a half inch bluegill. Hooked them right above the head with the free floating cork. Toss it out a little deeper. Let's see if there's any that'll take it. something has picked it up Need that my bobber is moving at high speed and I tossed it over here now it's way over there so since I have a circle hook I'm just gonna tighten the drag a little bit oh yeah Fish on. oh look at that pig look at that slob Well, they were right. This place has some monster bass out here, but you have to use live bait. Yeah, I think. Goodness. Oh my God. Good Lord Almighty. Yeah, gorgeous bass. Look at that bluegill. Didn't stand a chance. Not quite as big as the other one, but they're gorgeous. Real healthy. Three point two three. Three point two two. Very healthy fish. Feels like she's got another one in her belly, but we're not gonna stress her out too much. Drop her back in over here. All right, that was fun. Two back to back, over three pounds. The first one was 3.99, real fat, big old head on her. Second one was 3.22, nothing big. Some guys might laugh at me because I'm excited about a three pound bass, but gotta understand I don't really do much bass fishing and it's a nice fish I think we'll see I know there's eight and ten pounders out here will we get one that big probably not it's really hot so but if we can get one over five pounds that'd be great and if we can't we get another one hey we're still golden Alright, so as you guys just saw, I had to change out the water. Um, although I am using an angle live bait cooler, it is extremely hot out here, over 80 something degrees. There's barely any clouds in the sky. And the water is, I'd say high 70s, probably 80s. So it's really, really warm water and it's important to keep your fish alive. Fish get hot just like we do. One thing is they don't sweat, they die if they get too hot. Bait. Keep them alive as long as we can. We got gorgeous candy. Yeah. Oh, I just tossed it in, and not the big one, but a smaller one came and picked it up. Oh. Well, that sucks. You know, I never noticed bass are so much, so much like snook. It's crazy. You guys saw those two, the big one that keeps circling around here, and a smaller one about two pounder, two and a half pounder probably. The smaller one came and smacked it, jacked them all up, killed them instantly. He's barely alive, but he jacked it all up. 
I tossed it back down there. I know they're there because I see their shadows, and they will not touch it. They want something that's real lively. Oh my goodness. I wasn't recording, but oh, 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 he just picked it up. He just picked it up. I don't know if you guys just saw that. He smoked it, dropped it, and he just, he has it. My line's moving. Yep, he has it. Letting him eat. Letting him eat, letting him eat. There he is. He's not that big. I mean, he's nice, don't get me wrong. He's real skinny. It's that little aggressive male that's down there with the female. <laughs> God, look how skinny he is. Fish is a fish. It's number three. Toss him over here. Do like I did the last one. I'm starting to nasal hook these right here above the little the bone on their nose. Finding they're staying a lot healthier like that. They're not dying off as fast and their bass are more willing to hit it. You guys can see it. I'll let it run for a little bit. Make sure it hooks real good. Something has it. Oh yeah, something has it. Tighten a little bit. There she is. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Biggest bass of the day by far. Oh, she just picked it up again. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, come on, swallow it. Yep, yeah, my cork's... Oh my goodness. Not sure what to do, guys. I think she's got it. I think. I saw her come back and swirl on it again. Let me play her lightly in case she's still eating it. Oh yeah. Holy God. I'm just going to take a five minute break. Can't fish today. Oh, she had it again. You know, I'm just going to toss it right back real quick and just see what happens. Alright, see if she's still in the general area. Probably not, but I'm pretty sure I missed my chance on her. Jeez. Biggest one of the day so far. Easily over four or five pounds. I don't know if you guys saw it on the, the video. Water's a little murky, but I saw her flash and, oh my God, what a beast. I know, I know, she's not a big snook, but still fun. All right, I'm just gonna let her, let her walk with it if she picks it up next time. Something just picked it up again. I'm scared to even. Uh, it's not the wind, that's a fish. Taking it. Five, four, three, two. Is she there? <sighs> I think I'm using too small of a circle hook. Because that one had it again, and I ripped it out of its mouth. I think that's what it is. Well, that would explain why I didn't catch it this time. No, I don't feel too bad. Looks like a little turtle. Came and wanted to snack on my bluegill. Good. I don't feel too bad, though. Probably got another turtle on.
All right, I think it's time for me to head home. Damn turtles are back. Destroying perfectly good bait. Oh my God. Big old soft shell. Bass left and turtles have arrived. Well, that answers my question. There are giant gators in this lake. I'd say that is over eight foot long. Easily. Alrighty y'all, that's all I have for you guys today. That was awesome, I had a blast. I've obviously never fished it, I've never been there. Um, I've been told about it multiple times by some buddies of mine, but it, 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 we, we worked, to say the least. We worked to get those three decent bass. Um, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how to fish that lake, such a big body of water first time. It's, it's difficult, you gotta, you gotta learn and figure it out. But we overcame, we, uh, we got it. We, we figured it out towards the middle, I'd say middle of the morning, around afternoon time. We overcame, we caught the those three nice bass. I lost the one that was over four or five pounds, for sure I saw him and still a little heartbroken over that, but now I know for next time they want live bait. They don't, too, they don't do too good on artificials because I guess there's a lot of pressure on them. But it was awesome, I had a blast. And that gator at the end was just awesome. Freaking dinosaur, he was staring at me, I was staring at him. I uh, turned off the camera and he actually started swimming towards where I was and I had to get up and leave. I didn't want to harass him too much, but he was gorgeous. Yeah, God's country. I loved it. Loved every minute of it. But that's what I have for you guys today. A little bass fishing. Figured I'd do something a little different since I'm always on the ocean side, on the salt water. But if you guys liked it, give me a nice thumbs up. Share the video. Tell your friends about it. If you guys have any comments, any uh, any suggestions, if you guys have fished that lake before, just shoot them down in the comment box. I try to respond to all my comments and interact with you guys. But please, if you guys have any knowledge on that lake, on that area, let me know. I'd love to know for next time. But that's it. If you guys liked it, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys later.